Welcome back. Milk, butter, pumpkin, egg, sugar, clove, nutmeg, ginger, graham cracker, pumpkin spice. Adding all of the spices to the container and I'm going to mix everything together and put that aside. So technically what I'm doing is mixing all the dry ingredients and putting it aside and then we're going to work with the wet ingredients. Now let's put the wet ingredients together, the egg, the butter, the milk, the pumpkin. As I said, all of the measurements would be in the description. And I'm going to mix. It all depends on how thick you want this butter or how soft you want this butter. I didn't want it to, I just want it in between. I don't like it too soft and I don't like it too firm. So I just like it just in between. So once everything is mixed in properly and to my satisfaction, I am now going to add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients and then place in my preheated oven. Let's begin the dry ingredients for the crust. So I'm using a pack of graham crackers and I'm going to add a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of melted butter. And you want the consistency of that to be like wet sand. So I'm just going to bring it together and then place that in the bottom of my baking dish. Now it's evenly distributed in my pan, I am going to put my pumpkin mixture. As I said, if you don't want it this runny or a little more thicker, you would just add more or less pumpkin. All right, as I said, all the ingredients would be in the description. All right, so I'm going to add the mixture and place it into my preheating oven. But before I do that, I'd like to add some nuts, any nuts of your choosing. I'm going to just sprinkle a few pieces of nuts around my pie and place that in the oven. Forty minutes later my pie was finished baking and this is what it looks this pie was so moist and so delicious. Oh my goodness this pie was good. But I want to show you a different method also using the traditional crust. Right? So I made my own homemade pie crust it is very simple a simple pastry crust is basically what i did but before we get on to that i'm just showing you that i had this with some ice cream oh my 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 this was so soft and delicious bursting with flavors so let's get into that other 
cross so i'm using some shortening here everything was cold and i need it place it in the refrigerator and then start to roll it out as thin as i wanted it because i didn't want it to thick just thin enough and roll it out put it into my pan and make some little decorations <laughs> Or if not, you just don't do that and just put in some of the mixture. This mixture, however, was a little more thicker than the previous pie dough. And I place that in the oven and this is what it looks like. Actually, for the same amount of time I baked this one for. And it was, it was, this is the results. Very delicious, very enjoyable. Thank you all so much for stopping by and watching this very quick demo. Welcome back.